So welcome to my first tutorial. We're going to um, be learning how to draw a nude girl in this one actually. Quite fun. So what I'd usually suggest for this sort of drawing is to do a nice formatted straight line down the center. But obviously first off for starting out, find a model. Don't, don't draw from your image and imagination. Find a model, find um, a reference image on uh, Google or something or wherever you prefer to find one <laughs> if you yeah um, so for this I I'm actually gonna show you not how to draw how to draw it's not a tutorial it's just a nice simple short little video of uh, time lapse of me drawing now the what I'd usually suggest for this is that you do draw a contour line down the straight middle now you don't have to learn all about anatomy to be able to draw uh, the human figure you just need to learn how to draw and that's hopefully what I'm going to be teaching you now Please know that I'm not the best artist and I'm nor am I the best teacher But I do want to try getting out there a little more trying to show people how to draw Now for this video what I've done is I've actually wanted to be trying it for a little while and I've decided I'm not going to use an eraser so I haven't used a rubber highlighter anything whatsoever I've just taken 10-15 minutes of my time and just drawn this. It was quite fun actually, but <clears throat> to the left of my drawing you can actually see another bit of project that I'm working on at the moment, which is a realism portrait of Robert Downey Jr. which basically tells you and me that I'm pretty much a perfectionist for details. That's my biggest problem with these sort of sketches, is I like the sort of artwork that will take me hours and hours hours to complete because I love the details and I love spending the time on the details unfortunately for doing quick sketches like this details aren't something I have time for so I've just basically done my rough outline now please note this doesn't have to be exact and it doesn't have to be perfect every time you get it for me I actually did several takes on it and did multiple outlines for it until I found one that I was actually happy with Please note that I did rub those ones out, but, but that ugh, that was before I actually started recording. So that was enjoyable and fun. <laughs> now, what I've done here is, full, is work on a bit of the hair as well, as you'll see a little later. <clears throat> but with the hair, I didn't do anything special. I just grabbed a 2D pencil and went straight into it and just did it. I also am not a big fan of drawing faces and heads which is a struggle for me because I enjoy details for them and that's also why I'm doing that portrait drawing. Now here at this point what I've decided to do is instead of using a blending stump which I discovered actually stopped me from managing to get a lot of the details is instead just use a nice little brush. Um, I'm sorry I don't have a name for the brush but it's a nice soft textured brush and honestly it helps miracles and just does absolute pure miracles for you and your drawing. It, it helps so much for your textures, your outlines, your rough sketches, whatever you're trying to do. But for me, it's just the shading because shading has always been something I've struggled with. And I know that when you first start learning drawing, all you want to do is shading because it helps you with the details. That's what I love so much about it. Now, like I said, before you do this, I would suggest you learn just a little bit about perspective and how to draw the human figure. For that, there's loads of videos on YouTube, but I also hope to be making one about um, a little bit about anatomy, your perspective, and your contour lines. That way you can learn how to draw a proper human figure. But for this one, I'm just going to do it and see how it works on YouTube. <laughs> see if it gets any views at all, which will be fun and I highly doubt I will. But anyway, uh, as you can see with the hair, nothing special whatsoever, just a 2D pencil going right back into it with a completely different brush. This brush was a little harder. Uh, the reason I did this was because I didn't want to make the hair too soft, but slightly make it grainy. Then I went back in with the soft brush and went just right for it and see what it did, how it worked. But for this one, I did use a blending stump. The reason I used a blending stump for the hair the blending stump for the hair and not uh, actually doing the drawing <clears throat> for the shading was because I find when you use the blending stump it uh, it seems to just devalue the drawing a little bit more and it seems to smudge too much now I know when I say smudge that's what we're doing but 
for shading for me it's not smudging it's just uh, spreading a few molecules or something or however you want to put it it's just a lot easier with a nice fine toned brush um, I've been drawing for many many years but I've only recently started getting right back into it but as you can see I enjoy the details not so much just the rough sketching so that's what I've decided to do here is rough sketching see how well it goes hopefully upload a few more tutorial videos on YouTube now please note that um, I do have two channels, this one I'm only uploading tutorials, not uh, just plain speed lapse, time lapse, whatever you want to call them, even if you could name this as a tutorial, it's a pretty crap one I must admit. Um, I'm enjoying this sort of drawing up because I know a lot of people only come to watch these YouTube videos for some uh, nudity basically. For artists, any artist will tell you that drawing <clears throat> drawing a nude woman, nude girl, whatever how you want to put it, um, is, is some people will say that it's just pornographic and people are dirty minded for wanting to look at that. That's not the case at all. Um, if you went right back to the Greeks and the Romans, their statues and everything were just put into, um, into nudity and honestly it's a raw form of expression and I remember a quote, I can't remember quite what the quote said, but um, it was something about how how uh, the skin underneath the clothing is more valued than the clothing over the skin, which is completely true, because yes, drawing people with clothes on is, I wouldn't say easier, it's a different level, but basically here, I just wanted you to start off with a nice, simple level of just drawing. So I haven't gone right into the detail for the nudity, I've just enjoyed showing light, shadow, cast, all of that sort of stuff. Um... Usually, I, as I started at the very beginning, I did start with a contour line, and I am working off a small reference image on my top right-hand corner, but I've cut that out of the frame. <laughs> Unfortunately, I couldn't quite cut out my uh, portrait drawing on the left-hand side, mostly because I'm an idiot. <laughs> um, that's about all I've got to really say for the drawing itself. But other than that, it's just a matter of drawing what you see, just enjoying what I will be doing is uploading a YouTube video about how to draw contour lines, making the figure, etc, etc. Also, please note that while you're drawing the breasts, you'd want to... Um, a lot of people think they're just round balls. They're not. What you'd want to do is actually make sh uh, bleh, shadowing and shading on top of the breasts as well. Because that way it gives them the feel and the look that they're 3D, not just on a sheet of paper. So as you can clearly see from the drawing itself, I draw I do draw a lot with graphite. I don't post a lot of the images with graphite, but I enjoy it. I, that was my first medium I started out with. I've constantly kept up that medium, and I've loved every second of it. Here you can see I'm also shading underneath the breasts as well, and onto the leg, because the way you do that, it will just help... Um, uh, magnify, if you will, or exaggerate a bit of the terms and what what you see, rather than just a flat body. It's the best way to do it, personally. And, uh, yeah, like I said, hair, crap. Rest of the body, I think half decent. I will be showing you more on how to do this later in other YouTube videos. If you'd like to see a more detailed one, where I draw in real proper time, um, please ask me. Yeah, um, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, a like wouldn't hurt. And also, please subscribe. Thank you very much.